Once upon a time, there was a hungry, hungry caterpillar named Lenomia Obliqua. Now, what had happened was that Obliqua got tired of being so edible. See, everybody loves to eat a big, juicy caterpillar, from wasps to spiders to birds, raccoons and squirrels. They are just delicious. Try one, not this one. Do not try this one. See, Obliqua got upset about this whole being incredibly edible sitch, and she took it way too far. She went from being part of a group of insects considered the most edible to contending for the top spot of the most venomous insect, which leaves us all asking the question, Obliqua, why are you so toxic? See. You literally cannot touch these things without a life-threatening medical emergency. The little death prickles are gorgeous. One of the best reasons to read the fine print on your life insurance contract before you visit the Amazon. I was just in the Amazon rainforest getting one of my students settled for a project, working with the amazing Rosa Espinosa, a fellow National Geographic explorer. And I was walking through just slipping constantly in the mud, grabbing tree trunks to regain my balance. And Rosa looked like she had seen a ghost. She told me the story of a woman and grabbed Obliqua. And Obliqua says, sis, this is unwanted physical contact and I'm about to pop the trunk on you entomologically ignorant act. One touch led to severe hemorrhaging, hemolysis, subcutaneous blood clotting, and acute kidney failure. Another woman died because one hid in her slipper. She slipped it on, barely noticed that her skin had been punctured, and then started bleeding into her brain. She died just a few days later. So, at this point, I would like to thank Rosa for potentially saving my life and for stoking a lifelong distrust of slippers. Oh, and don't worry, the moth stage of Lenomia obliqua is harmless. Turns out you can grow out of being toxic. Sometimes it really is just a phase.